I don't I don't know. I, I can agree with the the general notion, the, yes. the ideology of if it's legal, it's allowed. Right. Um, and I would I would argue that, you know, what Jack is trying to do with Twitter or I don't say him personally, but what Twitter is trying to do is, is what create like a comfy padded neon room for the kids to hang out at. Now, the real world is harsh. Yeah, you know? I think what they're trying to do and I don't want to speak for him, but I think they're trying to engineer the conversation to be more polite and civil. Says who? Exactly. You know, who's whose definition? That's a good point. And that's, and that's, that's, I, I see so many of these people who just, they wield power and they're unaccountable. And well, it's also, you don't recognize the consequences of telling people what they can and can't do. And that it's, this is a very slippery slope. You're running up a greased hill yeah. and, and people don't like it. They don't like it. And well, the, the thing is like, when you see something like if, if everything was just open, what would the conversation be like? If there was no banning, if there was nothing. It was just everything, oh, real free speech. You would have, I mean, if there was, if it was impossible, let's put it this way. If it was impossible to ban someone from any social media platform, whether it's YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, what would the conversations look like? How much different would they be? And would we maybe have a healthier way of adjusting? I but, think it would be worse. Worse. Because um, I, I, could, I could be. Uh, but some, temporary or in the long run? Maybe temporary, but there, I believe it's called the online inhibition effect. Basically, the opportunity to be anonymous online sure. and, the, and, the, and the distance makes people, they have no problem being right. their worst self. Yeah. And so I can understand what Twitter wants to do. They say, hey, we need to figure out how we stop people from being mean all the time. Right. Because Twitter is, is a hellscape of just mean people saying nothing yeah. but mean things. But it's also, again, because they're anonymous and because it's possible. But then, look... Alex Jones can can say a bunch of really awful things. It's his right to do so. Should he be banned? He shouldn't. If if so, it does does Alex Jones. Uh, I'm not. A, I don't want to directly accuse him because I don't watch his show. But if if he goes on Twitter and he says something that's deemed to be false, should he be banned for that? No. If he if he challenges a journalist, should he be banned for that? No. Because well, let he, me tell you. Because he says things about me that aren't true. And I don't. Should, and I don't he, think he should be banned. Right. I, I think. And, and, and he's saying the things about me, and I don't think he should be banned. I right. think. Alex, I think we should talk. We should have a conversation. <laughs> I watched those videos he's over. made. He's upset. But, he's upset, and I get it in certain ways. I get I, it, and he thinks I took a shot at him, and I get right. it, and I probably did, and I shouldn't have. So, but, so here's here's the thing. The, my point is, I don't think he should be banned. Right. And it's he's doing it at me. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I mentioned, those people from Occupy who lie about me all the time, they've posted the most ridiculous lies about me. I still don't think they should be banned. Right. The, the, it, the thing is... If you ban them and then someone opposes them, but then someone opposes the people who oppose them and they want them banned, and then you have this fucking war back and forth, right. and instead of fighting bad ideas or incorrect ideas with correct or good ideas, now you just have people pressing ban hammers left and right. And you're just trying to figure out who the majority is so you can side with the biggest group. <sighs> but and you're trying to virtue signal and you're trying to get something that supports your ideology, whether it's right or left. So, so here's the thing with Jones, though. If the people on the left want to argue that he is making the platform worse and, and horrible, I, I, I understand that and I recognize, well, that's unfortunate, right? This is the real world and sometimes people say things you don't like. But more importantly, a lot of people argued that when he, when he said, the, you know, he said something about Sandy Hook, which again, I haven't seen the videos, but they've, they, they, he's been sued. They said that he said Sandy Hook never happened. So, so what? Is fake news to be banned? Well, many people were saying, yes, Facebook needs to ban fake news. But think about what that means. It means you're not allowed to be wrong. OK, because fake news doesn't mean you did it on purpose. More importantly, you're not allowed to be stupid. Well, here's another thing, again, in defense of Alex. One thing that Alex did do is in the future, after after he was done saying the things that he said about Sandy Hook, he then said it definitely happened. So so, so <laughs> he corrected his course. And there's so, no. Is there a path for redemption when you correct your course? And if right. there's not, what are we doing? Because we're not treating people like human beings then. Whether it's Milo or whether it's anybody, I and, mean, uh, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. That's okay, again, but, but a path but, to redemption is so fucking critical. Yes, 